Hi folks, it's time for the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm and we're going to be catching up with three games today, Arkansas State, Dayton and Valparaiso. All the highlights and a preview of the beginning of the OVC season is next on the Racer Report. And that will bring us to a big week for the racers as OVC play begins. And we're going to start with the Thursday night game at UT Martin as the racers go into their OVC opener against the Skyhawks in Martin, Tennessee. That game will be on Racer TV and also ESPN3. And then Saturday, the racers go to Southeast Missouri State for a game on ESPNU at the Show Me Center in Cape Girardeau. So big games coming up this week as head coach Steve Prohm joins us here now on the Racer Report. We're here at the CFSB Center where behind us you can see the, the teams going through some practice drills and the racers coming off a, a tough loss, 66-64 to Valparaiso on Saturday. Coach, your initial thoughts about how the game went before we uh, take a look at the highlights. <clears throat> well, watch a disappointing loss. You know, anytime you, we have such a, you know, traditionally, you know, strong record at home. Uh, not just when I've been here, but just for, for years and years. And anytime you lose a home game, non-conference or conference, it it hurts a little bit even more. It, it, they all hurt, but that hurts a little bit more. So it's a disappointing loss, you know. Um, I think everybody was is sick and understands we didn't we didn't do some things we need to do to win. We've got to get better on the defensive end first, uh, offensively, some shot selection and decision making at times. And I've got to do a better job putting guys in position at times. Uh, but it's a tough loss. Watching the tape was agonizing last night. But um, we got a lot of the guys in here today on Sunday, and, and we had a good workout. And we're just kind of wrapping it up right there. And we'll emphasize defense Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And, and, and we should be ready to go on Thursday. OK, well, we're going to roll the highlights here and uh, take a look at it uh, on a Saturday afternoon game here at the uh, CFSB Center. And this was just the uh, second time that uh, Valparaiso and Murray State have met. The first one was in St. Louis uh, back in 1999. Coach uh, Valparaiso is a, a well-coached team. Bryce Strew does a great job. Of course, everybody knows that uh, he played there for his dad. And his, you know, his dad was here. He does a good job with his team. They were ready to play. Yeah, he did a good job. And, you know, credit them. It was similar to the Evansville game. You know, we got up at Evansville. We got down at Evansville, excuse me, 15-2. to two, And or we got down at Evansville, yeah, 15-2. to two, And we got up on them here, 13-2. to two, And we got in a little foul trouble, and, and that didn't help us any. Okay, so the racers going to work here in the first part of the game as uh, Dexter Fields hits the three from the corner. That put the racers up eight to two early. Dexter shooting it well. He was four out of six. He shot it well. He understands his role probably better than anybody, that he understands what his limitations are, what he can do well, and he's, he shot the well, ball well of late. We need to continue to get him better on the defensive end, uh, but Isaiah's really good at finding him in the corners on the wing. Uh, after a steal right there, uh, it was a turnover the racers forced. Uh, Cannon hit the three. It was 11-2. to two. And then, uh, Coach, as we'll see as this game goes on, the racers did not win the rebound battle, but this is one of those plays here where you like to see the kind of effort you're getting right here as Garrett gets the putback finally. Yeah, you know, we I talked to these guys before, and I met with them, and I talked to them. And Brandon needs to max out for us each and every day. We can't have an average game from him for us to be great. You know, we've got some very talented players. You know, we look at Isaiah and Ed, but everybody else needs to max out and, and do their job well. Uh, you know, Isaiah, I, I, I would be interested to see if that really was a travel. I, I rewound uh, it 100 yeah. times last night. Well, we were looking at it here, uh, too. That's why we put it in, because yeah, I don't think uh, it was a travel. You know, but the, the, last, the only thing the last two weeks has been a lot, of, a lot of travels missed or called that were kind of confusing. Wilson hits the three right there, and Murray State's up 16-8. to eight. Uh, Fields hit another three from the corner here, about eight minutes to go. The game was a 19-8 game. That uh, turned out to be the largest lead for the racers of 11 points, but you knew this team from Valparaiso was going to dig in on you. Yeah, you know, credit them. You know, they're an experienced team. They're, they're picked to win the Horizon League. They've got the, you know, in Brokoff, they've got the Horizon Player of the Year in the league. But, uh, you know, they fought back. You know, they kept their composure. They've been in tough environments this season. I think that helped them, you know, prepare themselves to win this game yesterday. But 
you know, we, we just went through a stretch. We, we ended up with four guards out there. We had four freshmen out there at times in the first half, and our lead went from 13 to 2. Uh, then we ended up 21-13, but, we, we, you know, we still went in half up three, but we just weren't able to kind of put them away. And I thought maybe after getting up 13-2, it would be a game where we, we finally broke it open and, and beat somebody up pretty good. Well, you know, th this team, uh, we, met, we mentioned shooting the basketball. Of course, on our, on our racer report here, we don't show any of the misses. You're seeing all the makes, but... Yeah. Uh, the racers, we'd say maybe about the past three games, haven't been quite shooting it as well as we've seen them shoot. Yeah, we got to get better shots, and we got, you know, that's what we need to do right there. We got to put pressure on the basket. Our bigs got to roll. Uh, Pep did a great job, or Tron Gilmore did a great job at rolling right there and putting pressure on the basket, and that's what we got to do. Um, you know, we can't just we can't just settle for threes and step back threes. We, we've shot it quite a few. When we shoot them well, we're good, but we've got to shoot good threes. And that's the kind of ball pressure right now as we're talking with that. Right. That's the kind of ball pressure we need up top. Well, that was uh, two five-second calls. Uh, you saw Zay Henderson, one of the other freshmen, uh, force that one. Cannon forced that one. Uh, Cannon probably getting a lot of contact going down the lane, but made an incredible shot right there with 10 seconds to go before the half. Uh, and then Murray State forced a, a turnover uh, on Valpo's last possession. So Murray State goes to the half. Uh, leading 31 to 28. Big first half here at the CFSB Center. We're going to take a break here in the race report. Come back, show you the second half in just a moment with head coach Steve Pro. Explore a new world. 여러 가지 경험들을 많이 체험하세요. 아예 or 아빠 나 자한 쿠드 바나이에. 이찰로 체누 우쿠상가. 알람 제디르 블랙티샤팟. 엔테큐 다니벨트. 보이스피아 도드 크레차. 유양즈 캐시베드. 창조 레덱 메일라이. 페레스 페벨린 코빌라고. 떡가인 데우 또렛 뉴크 난 저런 바. Dunia anda untuk dijelajahi, tanzuan bersedia. Murray State University, your world to explore. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion, to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prom, Dave Winder with you. We're going to roll the tape quickly here and take a look at the second half of what was a thrilling game. We're right down to the wire uh, as the Racers hosting Valparaiso coming out in the second half leading 31 to 28. Coach, I thought the key part of the game here at the start of the second half was you gained a six-point lead, had the ball, a uh, chance to really get another double-digit lead. And I thought when that didn't happen, I thought, uh-oh, we're in for a ball game now. Yeah, we had opportunities, and we've had them in both games, in really all three games that we've lost, um, to really pull away and, and get some double-digit separation. And you know, we were up six. They called timeout. You know, I thought about maybe going zone right there just to change things up a little bit. And we don't play it much, but they were able to score and get back in the game. When you see Ed Daniel do stuff like that, you just go, "My goodness, uh, he's uh, you know he's having a great senior season." Uh, starting to figure a lot of things out, isn't he? Yeah, he's a man. He's a man, and he's he's been great. And I can't thank him enough and appreciate his efforts enough. Uh, but again, he's another guy. He's got to be great every night for us. You know, we don't have a lot of room for margin for error. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, with with the starters playing the the minutes that they're playing right now, uh, that put the racers up. 42-36, it was 11-8 uh, run to start the second half. This was with about four minutes into the second half. 
uh, and then the racers hit a little bit of a drought here. This three by Wilson put them back up by three with 10.34 to go. But I, I just got the feeling from this point on, boy, each possession was so important because you knew the way the, the, well, the, way the Valpo was going to run some clock that the possessions were going to be so important. You, you couldn't afford to throw any away. Yeah. You know, we're playing against a set defense too much. That's the one biggest thing. That's what's struggling. To, you know, we're in a half court, playing in the half court a lot, you know, because we're not scoring off our defense, and that's where we got to get better at. Okay, so now we're about the 732 mark here. Um, of course, bro broke off. I, I thought the racers did a good job on him, but boy, once he got going, uh, then he, he started uh, kind of getting to the ball game. They held him uh, scoreless there for a long time. Uh, but Fields hits a three out of the timeout. And then there is another uh, uh, dunk by Daniels to put the racers up 52-49. Um, and then, or actually 54-49, five point lead with 7.32 to go uh, in the ball game. And then there's Fields uh, three out of the timeout. 4.45 to go, you're, you're down by two. Um, and you needed some stops late in this game. Yeah. You needed some that you couldn't get. Yeah, you know, they, uh, they did a good job executing down the stretch, and we just couldn't ever claw back into it and get back. We had it back to a one-possession game twice, and, and we shot a, two tough threes. There, there's one of them right there that, you know, wish we could have back and just drive the ball and put pressure on the basket and get it down to one. But uh, And then Isaiah took a deep one. You know, he's made it 100 times, but uh, it's a tough loss, you know, for us. Yeah, and uh, whenever the racers uh, lose a, a home game, it, it does kind of shock everybody because they just don't they just don't lose many at home. And uh, you know the racers uh, in the 15th season uh, in the CFSB Center uh, have won about 88 percent of their games, so it doesn't happen very often. This was with 34 seconds left. Uh, Daniel drew a charge, and you still got a chance to tie with a three here. Yeah, we do, and, and we had a lot of time, and, and we were really just trying to get pressure on the basket right here with Isaiah and maybe draw a foul. We were in the bonus, and, you know, he ended up settling for a jump shot in a, in a deep three, and, you know, you know, he's made that how many times since he's been here. So, you know, I'll live with that, and he'll learn from that, and I'll learn from that, and, uh, and we'll get better. It's a tough loss, disappointing, uh, very disappointing loss, and, uh, but we'll be, we'll be better for it. Yeah, better for it down the road. So 66-64 the final as you take a look at uh, some of the totals there. Uh, uh, Cannon had 24 for the racers, but only 8 out of 21 from the field and 3 out of 9 from 3. Uh, leading rebounder for the racers was Stacy Wilson with 7. And then uh, Brokoff uh, led uh, Valparaiso with 18 points. So, Coach, uh, you're headed into OVC play this week. Uh, back to workouts uh, here as we tape our show on Sunday. and. Uh, trying to use uh, that game as, as a learning tool and move on. Yeah, we watched tape this afternoon. Uh, some of the older guys are banged up. Isaiah will be out the next couple of days. He's banged up a little bit and he's got a sore foot, sore arch, so he actually is not practicing today. Tomorrow I'm going to keep him out for a couple of days. Uh, Stacy Wilson had to get an x ray today, so um, and he got hit in the, uh, in the bone and, you know, the, kind of the, right where you chief, uh, a calf, I guess, is or uh, shin, 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 shin. I, guess, shin. Yeah. I was trying to think of <laughs> shin. And, uh, so he got X-ray, but everything's okay with him. But worked these younger guys out good. Had a good workout, spirited workout, and, and ready to get back to work tomorrow. Okay, so the racers are going to UT Martin on Thursday night. We're gonna take another break and then go back in time and check out the racers' two road games at Dayton and Arkansas State. We'll do that on the race report in just a moment. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics.
like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hi, folks, and welcome back to the CFSB Center on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm, Dave Winder with you. And uh, now that we've shown you the, the most recent game with the Racers, that was Saturday's uh, defeat to uh, Valparaiso. We're going to go back in time and first pick up the last game before the Christmas break. That was at Dayton. And, Coach, we're going to roll some of those highlights. And i got to tell you, uh, uh, the Dayton Arena has got to be one of my, one of the top five venues of all time in college basketball. It was what a fantastic atmosphere it was to go play Dayton up there. Yeah, you know, that's the first time I've ever been there. And, and Dayton's got a traditionally tremendous program, a lot of history there, a uh, good young coach in Archie Miller, but a lot of former great coaches there, Oliver Purnell, Brian Gregory, and uh, Coach Donaher, who the practice facility is named after. But uh, I can see why the NCAA tournament hosts those you know, I don't want to say playing games. I'm not even sure what you call. I guess first the four. first, first, the first four. four. Um, you know, because an unbelievable arena, uh, fifteen thousand there Saturday afternoon before Christmas, uh, energetic. It was it was a great place, and uh, you know, it was a disappointing disappointing game uh, because I thought we had some opportunities in that right. game as well to to be up ten. Well, we're kind of rolling the first half highlights here as as we're as we're talking. The racers led at 41-36. Uh, that was a good first half. You, you, it but, was, but it could have been was, better. But it could have been, been better. And that's the problem we've yeah. got is right now is we're up 41-34 and we have the ball, and we shoot a three from Eric McCree with 30 seconds on the shot clock, yeah. and and that's on me. I'll take that. that I was thought a, about what calling, about a minute before half. Minute right? before yeah. half. I was trying. Isaiah needed some rest, so we were just going to rest him. I was going to let CJ play, and he hit Eric in the corner and. It just, uh, it just was the wrong play at the wrong time. Um, you know, then we fouled, and we ended up going to the half up five. And those, you know, when they make that run in the second half, if you got that couple different baskets, now instead of being down seven, maybe you're only down three. And it just, it, it was tough. It's, it's, uh, in, in college basketball, it's, it's just a margin that you, that you, can't, uh, you can't give up because the margin between good things and bad things, boy, it, the game can swing so quickly. So then in the second half, the racers were outscored 41-27, but boy, Dayton hits you with a punch right at the start of the second half, and that was basically the ball game. Yeah, you know, we, we led the whole game really until the last four minutes, and yeah. then, you know, they hit us with one punch late in the last media timeout, really, and yeah, uh, right I, before yeah, the I said it was the start of the fourth quarter, yeah, about the 10-minute yeah, mark, yep. yeah. They hit us with one punch and went up 67-60, but if you look at the chain of events, we're up 60-59. We don't get back in transition. They hit a three. We turn it over. I'll take the blame for the turnover for what I called. They go up four. We come down, miss a layup. They hit a three. We're down seven. And we still get it down to five. Dillard makes an incredible shot to go back up seven. So that was a big part of the game. But we had opportunities again, 55-50, where we should be up eight or ten. Well, the, the racers dropped that one 77-68. Uh, to 68. Take a look at uh, some of the scoring there. Uh, uh, Cannon had 20. Ed Daniel had a big day, 17 points and 13 rebounds. Uh, and it was just a, a tough day for the racers because they really could have gotten that one. So we're going to take another break here on the Race Report with Steve Prohm. We'll come back and go back in time and catch up with that Arkansas State win. We'll do that next on the Race Report.
like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report. The head coach Steve Prohm here at the uh, CFSB Center as the racers on the road this week for OVC play at UT Martin at Southeast Missouri State. Coach, we'll talk about that in just a minute, but right now let's talk about that game. Uh, it was December 19th, uh, Racer TV Network had it, went out of Jonesboro and uh, the racers got a, a really good win on the road against a good Arkansas State team, 61-54. I know that was a little while ago and we're kind of catching up with that game. But anytime you can go on the road and, and, and win, uh, it, it's good, and that was a good win. A great win. And, and then when you look at uh, what they've been able to do, you know, they beat Lafayette, Louisiana Lafayette, the next uh, a couple games later by 20. They, they, you know, they're two, or one, two and two now, three and two in their league, and they're, they're playing well now. Tough place to play, and we went there and, and persevered through some adversity. You know, some offensive struggles again, and but I thought defensively in that game we really, really competed at a high level, and that helped us, you know, win that basketball game. But, you know, even Western Kentucky, look at them now, they're sitting at 4-0. Right. and So we got two good wins over the Sun Belt. Well, uh, in this Arkansas State game, uh, Coach, the, the percentages all uh, point to great defense. Uh, held Arkansas State to 36% from the field, 13% from three-point range. Even your free throw defense was good. It was you know, they, they shot 55%. I'm just kidding you. Yeah, but, we were guarding but, uh, but you But you guys were guarding people that night for sure. I thought that was one of our better defensive performances. And then at Dayton, you know, and Dillard's really good. I thought we struggled at times a little bit, and I thought we struggled a little bit against Valpo. But I thought Arkansas State, I thought we played really well on defensive end. You hold somebody under 54 points on, the, on their home court, you're doing, you're doing something right. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good stuff for the racers. They held Arkansas State to 27 points in each half. As you take a look at it there, uh, Stacy Wilson had his uh, first uh, Murray State double-double with 13 rebounds in the game, including 10 on the defensive end. Uh, Isaiah Cannon had 18 points, and the Racers uh, uh, had a good night from the free throw line, as you see there, uh, 13 out of 15. So it all it ended up as a 61-54 win for the Racers at Arkansas State, and that was back on December the 19th. Okay, we're going to check out the OVC standings and the schedule ahead. We'll do that next, coming up here on the Race Report with head coach Steve Prohm. Explore a new world. 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 Explore a Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics.
back here to wrap it up from the CFSB Center with head coach Steve Prohm on the Racer Report. As we take a look at the OVC standings, uh, some games already been played. As you look in the East, Jacksonville State, Tennessee State, uh, both won their first games. And then in the West, Southeast Missouri had to come from behind uh, to beat UT Martin on Saturday. So they're 1-0. and Eastern Illinois is 0-1. And then taking a look at the uh, schedule ahead for the racers, you got the two games this week uh, against uh, UT Martin and uh, Southeast Missouri State on the road. Uh, both of those will be, uh, one will be on Racer TV and then ESPNU on the weekend. But Coach, kind of taking a look at what happened over the weekend, uh, UT Martin goes in to Southeast Missouri State and gave them a whale of a game and lost a close one there, 65-60. Sure did. They did a good job. They got off to a great start, had a big lead up there in Cape Girardeau, and had opportunities to win the basketball game. I haven't looked at the tape yet. I'll look at it here the next day or two and watch that game to get ready for Martin. But uh, And now they got to come back and play Jacksonville State tomorrow night. Uh, so they'll be ready and, and waiting on us. But conference plays off and started now, and you know Tennessee State got a good win, and Jacksonville State's playing, they may be playing as best as anybody in the league. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, James Green doing a great job down there. Uh, college basketball is is neat because you've got all this pre-conference stuff, but even, and it does matter, but when you get to this time of year, boy, it, it yeah. gets amped up, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, non-conference is great, but then everything changes. Mm -hmm. Nine and three, 12 and 0, six and six, doesn't three matter. and nine. I mean, everybody is right back to square one and you're playing for a conference championship. and. I talked to our guys, it's just, we just need to focus on Tennessee Martin and that's all we'll focus on and getting our team better and winning, trying to get to 1-0 and in a conference. All right, well that's what we're looking to do and hopefully a lot of racer fans going down to uh, UT Martin on Thursday. It's a seven o'clock tip and then it's a five o'clock tip at Southeast Missouri State in Cape Girardeau on Saturday. We hope to have a lot of racer fans there as well. So Steve, good luck this week. Thank you, Dave, okay. appreciate it. Head Thank Coach Steve Prohm, this is Dave Winder. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And as we leave you today, here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. Happy New Year to everybody. Right side pass goes to Wilson. Wilson tries to break down his defender, drives in, puts the shot, no good. Tipped up and in, what a tip by Daniel off the glass for another region's big bang shot. Cannon on the left side, again, Doherty applies the pressure. Cannon has attempted only the one field goal, gets by his man, throws it right side for the three, Fields hit it. Nothing but net, and the racers are up to an eight to two lead. Kenny, top of the key, Capobianco, looks inside, knocked away, and it's stolen. Didn't see who popped it, but Garrett picks it up. He finds Cannon, top of the key, sets a screen for him for three, good! Isaiah Cannon buries a three. Right side to Cannon, 13-8. Racers on top, skip pass to the left side. Wilson finds himself wide open for a three, and he hit it. Stacy's got to be able to do that because they switch a lot on their defense. They jump around a lot, and that leaves a man open. Cannon out top, leaves it for Fields. Three in the wing, got it. Dexter Field loves that corner shot. And it's back to an 11-point lead, 19-8. to eight. Cannon top of the key. Crossover dribble, loses his man, hooks it inside. Gilmore off the glass and in! A region's bang-bang shot, and he drew the foul. But good anticipation, Fields gets the steal. Three on two, fast break. Daniel, top oh. of the hawk, slam dunk by, oh my. What a beautiful assist though by uh, Stacy Fields that time on the bounce pass through the lane to Ed. 39-33 as Steve Prom orchestrates the crowd to get louder, they do. And Bryce Drew takes a timeout.